Hello, everyone. Today, we'll be exploring the tale, A Room with a View by E. M. Forster. Lucy Honeychurch, a young Englishwoman, embarked on a trip to Italy with her older cousin and chaperone, Charlotte Bartlett. They arrived in Florence, eagerly anticipating their stay at the Pension Bertolini, and in run by an English couple. The pension boasted a beautiful view of the River Arno and the famous Ponte Vecchio. Upon arrival, however, the two ladies were disappointed to find their rooms without a view. As they lamented their predicament during dinner, another guest, the outspoken Mr. Emerson, generously offered to exchange his room, which had a view, with theirs. Initially, Charlotte declined the offer due to propriety, but Lucy urged her to reconsider. During their stay in Florence, Lucy and Charlotte encountered a group of fellow English tourists. Among them were the clergyman, Mr. Beebe, the romantic Eleanor Lavish, the snobbish Cecil Weiss, and the alluring George Emerson, son of Mr. Emerson. Lucy found herself drawn to George, despite her cousin's disapproval. One day, while exploring Florence with Eleanor, Lucy lost her way and stumbled upon George in a quiet square. In a moment of passion, George kissed Lucy before they were interrupted by Charlotte, who whisked her cousin away. Back in England, Lucy became engaged to Cecil, a well-to-do gentleman who epitomized the traditional values of her society. Cecil was controlling and condescending, treating Lucy as an ornament rather than an equal partner. By a twist of fate, George and his father moved to Lucy's village, renting a cottage from Cecil. Lucy could not deny her attraction to George, who represented a world of freedom and passion. In contrast, her life with Cecil felt increasingly suffocating. One day, George confronted Lucy, confessing his love and urging her to leave Cecil. Torn between duty and desire, Lucy sought counsel from Mr. Beebe. He advised her to follow her heart, but cautioned that she would need to face the consequences of her choice. Lucy ultimately chose George, breaking her engagement with Cecil. While her decision scandalized her community, she found support in Mr. Beebe and the Emersons. Lucy and George eloped to Florence, where they rented a room with a view, symbolizing their newfound freedom and love. As they gazed at the beautiful landscape, they embraced the life they had chosen, free from the constraints of societal expectations. The End <laughs>